Well, welcome back to Crossroads. If you've ever been to the James Dean Festival, you know one of the big highlights here are the cars. And we walked up just a few minutes ago and saw Gary Barnett here from Gas City with this beautiful Model A. And I have to know, how long did this take to restore? Well, I've had it four years and it was partially done when I got it and then we finished it up. What so, makes someone say, I want a Model A? Because uh, they're different. If it wasn't for Henry Ford, then there wouldn't be a lot of the Fords around now. Well, that's true. Yeah, of course, he would have said okay. it has to be black. Yes. Right? <laughs> well, that used to be the choice, black and black. It's kind of a little different. Everything you see out here seems to be from the 50s, which fits James yeah. Dean. You like standing out being a little different from the crowd? Uh, yes, but it's hard to compete against the, the newer cars. Uh, sometimes you feel like a little outcast. And why but uh, I always feel like ours is just as good as them Hemi's. Well, it is beautiful to look at. Thank you. What does it take to maintain a Model A these days as far as keeping up with parts and, and making sure it's operational? Uh, a fat pocketbook <laughs> and a lot of uh, actual grease in your elbows. But uh, once you get it done, if you take care of it, it's no problem at all. And uh, it's got to the point where you can buy replacements uh, parts for, for it, so partner. that helps out a little bit. And, uh, there's just not many four doors around, they're usually mostly coupes and two doors and pickup trucks. How many miles a year will you put on it? Uh, oh, probably not over two or three hundred miles. Just to come to a few shows? I go to shows, we, the furthest show is Newport, Indiana, to the hill climb, and, but we've been to Sulphur Springs and we've been to Winchester and Decatur and, all around close. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't expect you to let me drive it, but I do want to go for a ride. Well, so you sure let's go set for that a ride. up. Let's set up. And you are the man. Got to watch out here. People weren't as tall as me back in the 30s, I don't you got think. Got long legs. Right? Something. Something. They were all short. How hard is it to drive? Not hard at all. We've got Armstrong power steering. <laughs> well, that, that wasn't standard back then, was it? No, absolutely not. Your air conditioner is on each side. It's got a knob on it. You turn it. That's great, except for certain times of the year, right? Yeah. You've had a manifold heater. That uh, little flapper underneath the dash. You open that. And your heat from your manifold comes inside and warms your car, but you carried a blanket with you to uh, help stay warm. How fast do you drive it? Oh, top speed is about 45, 50. It will run 55, but um, there was no use to get in any hurry. They didn't get in any hurry back then. Uh -huh. so. But I drive it in town over there at Gas City. I love the horn. <laughs> get a lot of waves and a lot of looks. Oh yeah. And I bet when you park people want to talk just like we did. Yeah, it's nice to have the uh, old people come up and say, well, mom and dad had one of these when I was a kid and we used to ride up through town on the fender and, and uh, you get a lot of old stories and they're glad that they you kept it the way it is. And uh, we're going to keep this one the way it is. I don't think I asked you the year earlier. 1931. 31, and they started rolling out Model A's what year? Uh, 1927. Okay. What do you pay if you want to get started with this? If you just want to go get one. You well, pay the guy even what fixed up as nice as yours. It depends on what you want to get. If you want to get start from the ground up, you can buy one that's in pretty bad shape for. Uh, Five or six thousand dollars, but if you got one that you uh, that's pretty well done or is done, you can pay as high as uh, seventeen to twenty-five thousand for it. So it just depends on what you want to do and how you want to start. And what did Mr. Ford charge for them? Well, I think this one was four hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah, but that was a lot of money. Then. <laughs> yes, it was just as hard to. It was just as hard for people back then to come up with $460 as it uh, 
is now for people to come up with thirty or forty thousand yeah. dollars. Well, Gary Barnett of Gas City, Model A owner, you are a great host. Well, thank you very much. I, I hope you enjoyed the next ride year, into yesteryear. Next year, can I drive it? Well, yeah, we'll have to think about that a little Don't bit. Don't let me drive it. My <laughs> wife doesn't want me driving my own cars. Anyway, thank you so much okay. for the ride. That was beautiful in the Model welcome. A.